enjoy. Thomas and Ladies Love. Let me get this straight. You don't even care that I know that you two are in love this whole entire time. Gordon, be quiet. We already had this talk a few minutes ago. Exactly. And besides, it's not like we have been hiding this the whole time. Yeah, we've been giving you plenty of hints that we have been in love. What hints? We've been together the whole time? The way I came back? Exactly. That was kind of weird, as though Thomas says the angel keeps replacing. Okay, Gordon. No. If you keep making this, I'll... Alright. Alright. You don't have to keep writing us. Let's just not do that anymore. I'm tired of this, though. But still, I don't care, James. I, You were really planning to make us embarrassed. Well, it backfired fantastically. Well, still. Can we at least try to enjoy this new day? Only if you can get out and like, stay off my rails for the next hour or two without giving you minor boiler ache. Alright, sure. Do you want to give me a channel for my money? Gordon. Neo, let's just not. Yeah, let's just leave this be and just go on with our jobs as usual. Alright then. And if you don't, and if I have to, I'll have, you'll have to shut your coaches again. Anything to get away from you, tank engines and tender engines are sh way too short to be considered tender engines. You should be considered tender engines with a tender just for extra loads. And I'm not going to even hear the rest of this argument because I'm leaving. Oh, alright. You want to be so smart? Yeah, goodbye. It's a shame you have to pull his express for with him. Yeah, I feel kind of sorry for you, James. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's nothing anyway, you two, you guys. I can manage him. I hope you can manage to get him to apologize to us. Yeah, he's been making me to us this for two days so far. I'll try my very best to get him to stop messing with you all. I hope you're right about this, James. Yeah, we need him to stop, or else we'll have confusion in the way in the future. We already had confusion in the way with the last two crashes. Hopefully this day will not be that worse. You know, every time you say that, it's always going to get worse. Yeah, he's kind of right, Thomas. But anyway, I don't have time for this. You just go ahead and just get started on your jobs while I just have a few seconds of my time here. All right, then. Well, Thomas, since you have your first passenger, one your eyes will get started without me. Yeah. I'm just really afraid of what happens next. What do you mean? Passengers are running late now, and I have to, and I can't wait for them any longer. Why don't you get a backup train for it? Well, Mr. Tom hasn't known, and it could be worried enough to do that kind of a job. Anyways... I'll see you all next time. See ya. Alright. See ya, Thomas. See ya, Percy. Well, lady, we might as well get started with our jobs now. Well, wait, what about me? That was supposed to be for us, yeah. Well, I have to get my good train as well. I'm busy this day. Alright, yeah. This really is going so far. Uh, Alright, lady. Let's get going. To the yards? Yes. We still have to work on your shunting. Alright, then. Let's get moving, then. See ya, James. Bye, James. Bye, you two. See ya. See ya, James. Well, looks like I'm going to have to get ready for the express. Hopefully something interesting happens today. At least I have nothing else good to lose the rest of the day. I wonder how this is going to go out to be. This is boring, James. Oh, come on, Gordon. You said you were not going to go play the whole journey. Now here you are complaining. You always have to be such a 
flower bush nowadays. I told you not to call me that yesterday. When? Back at the sheds. Uh, you know what, Jake? Gordon, I'm tired of you. Since you were trying to get Lady and Thomas to be embarrassed with love, you've always been mean to us this whole day and yesterday. Well, still, can we at least enjoy the rest of this trip while we still can? Well, at least nothing can go wrong. Oh, wait, what's going on? Oh, no. Oh, no. Ouch. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, bother. Oh, no. Ouch. Ah. Uh, bother. Oh. Oh. Botheration. Uh, uh, well, at least face could get worse. Help! 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 Bill! Ben! Stop me! Please! I can't stop! Go for it, Bucko! I'm gonna get in front of you so I can stop you. Ben's already behind your tray, so he may be able to get a couple of the four I can front. Oh my goodness. Come on! Come on! Uh, I got it! Oh, a little bit more! Uh, come on! Couple up! It's not coupling! It's not coupling! Oh no, look out! Whoa. Ah! Oh no! Oh no, no! Oh no! Oh no, ah! Ouch! No! Ah! Ah! Ouch! Bother! This is just great! Just great! Tell me about it. Now I'm off the rails. And we were going so well, too, until the runaway. Exactly, Bill. Well, at least things couldn't get any worse than this. James. Oh, no, look out! Oh, Toby, come on! Ouch! Ouch! Ah! Ugh! Bother! Well, now things could get... No more worse than this. Oh, now look at us. Ah, uh, another derailment. Two days in a row. Just my luck. Just to break the end of my day off. Hello, you all. Oh my goodness, look at this mess. It's even bigger than the last two messes combined. I thought the last two crashes were harsher than ever, but these... This is just, this is even worse than I imagined. Oh my goodness, you haven't seen anything yet, Thomas. You, we had to delay all sorts of trains. That's why I heard it. Oh goodness sake. Alright, this may take us a few hours from what I can see from the wreckage. So, give me a few minutes. Alright then, so, got the buffers dismantled. So I can take them to the works as well as Toby has to go to the works as well. Everyone else looks fine enough to go on with their jobs. Just use you might want to go back to the steam works just in case. Hopefully you will listen this time, YouTube. I will totally right, Ben. Yes, I will. Alright then, Toby, let's get to you to the works. Alright then. Well then, we might as well get going, Boko. Go and steady, I gotta say. Yes, go and steady, Boko. Let's get going. Well, Gordon, since we're back on the rails, we might as well continue with the express. Yeah, good thing that passengers were hurt during the whole wreckage and getting the train back on track. Happy about that. Well, at least we can still continue on. Uh, I just, I really don't want to continue on anymore, you know what? Well, we're going anyway, Gordon. Come on. Alright. Going on the countryside is kind of fine for my wheels. That's, especially because we're taking the express. Yeah. You know what, James? What? I kind of feel kind of sorry for you. Especially because you have been super splitted these past few days. Hey, Gordon. I just want to say that I'm sorry for the way I've been treating everyone these days. 
Especially you, because you are one of my best friends. You know that? Yeah, of course. We, I know that. Gordon, we've been friends for the very beginning when we first met. Remember? How could I not? Well, I think you should possibly apologize to Rebecca and Emily as well as Thomas and Lady, and possibly Percy and Mia. Well, I don't agree with Mia, but I think you're right about it. I think you're really right. Exactly, Gordon. I think we should just get rid of this aggressment you have with Thomas and Lady and just move on. I think, I think you're, I guess you're right. I'm always right about a huge amount of people trying to, oh no, ah, James, what was that for? We have a, we have a derailment here. Oh, botheration. Oh, bother. What now? Oh, bother. Moving along. We are on an express route here. Just a minute. Alright, Diesel Tim, let's get you back on the rails right now. Thanks, Philip. No problem. Uh, alright, Gordon, we might have to back up a little bit. Come on, we were going so well again, as well. Alright, just give me a few seconds and, we'll, and, I'll, and I'll be done, alright? Alright, then. Thanks, Philip. You're my lifesaver, if you ask me. It's nothing, Diesel 10. I just want to be as helpful as possible. I might as well return this train back to the works so we can get repaired a little bit. Oh, you should really appreciate Philip. He's kind of a good shunter, you know. Yeah, he really is. Well, I'll see you two later. Goodbye. Bye, Diesel 10. You know what? I think he's right about lots of things, Gordon. I don't think you're right. Come on, let's get moving. Now, so the buffer set's been dismantled. That is strange, if you ask me. Two bubbles in a row. Oh, here's, here they are now, Gordon. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Emily. Hey, Gordon. Hey, Gordon. What's up? I just want to uh, apologize for the way I, tr I reacted yesterday. I really shouldn't have been more overactive like that. Don't worry about it, Gordon. I understand your situation if you left his shits. Really? Of course. Who wouldn't have the same reaction? And I'm kind of having the same reaction still. Yeah. You think they'll give us more shed bursts? I really hope so, Gordon. Who knows? The future has plenty of promises for us. Hopefully you're right, Emily. I'm just praying you're true about it. Come on, Gordon. Let's just get through with these press now. Alright, James. I think he's a good engine to be with, Rebecca. Hope you're right. Hello, everyone. Hello, Gordon. What are you here for? I just wanted to say something about what I did yesterday and the day before, right, Dale. And what do you have to say? I just want to say I'm sorry to everyone here. I already apologized to James yesterday, and now I have to apologize to all the rest of you. So I'm sorry about what I said, Percy, and to you, Thomas, and also you, Lady, and also Nia, of all engines. I understand, Gordon. You're just kind of sad about Rebecca leaving. I know. But who knows? Maybe we'll be back in the same shed. And maybe Edward and Henry will come back soon, too. Only time will tell, Gordon. And I think your t and I think this time will be a great time for our steam engines and steam team. You know, Thomas, that's the first thing I've ever heard, the best thing I've ever heard for you this whole time you came back. Kind of sweet, Gordon. That's really sweet. Yeah, I kind of appreciate it. You're really a good engine, Gordon. Thanks, you t you all. Yeah, you see, Gordon, apologizing can change every friendship. I guess you're right, James. I guess you're right.